You know, that's uh, that's the first uh, loss and then the second loss and then this one was uh, the one that I actually got a uh, very decent profit on it. Um, so that was uh, that was uh, Twitter, but the, my biggest uh, crazy trade was Vero that I did it twice. Both of them turned out to be really nice. The first one, you know, Vero was really active yesterday. All right, good morning, everybody. This is Andrew from Peak Capital Trading Office in Vancouver. What a crazy day we had. We had one of the craziest day we had in a long time. So Elon Musk, for, after he declined to sit on the board, he went silent for four days, no tweets. And last night I was actually messaged, uh, I tweeted that, you know, where is Elon Musk? It's, what happened to him? He was just so active in Twitter and now suddenly he's not. And uh, this morning news came in that he filed uh, a takeover of Twitter at $52 per share or something like that, which is significantly higher than it is uh, right now. And, uh, you know, the Twitter really became uh, really volatile in the pre-market, sold off heavily at the open. And uh, we traded that, obviously, with something like that. Twitter generally is a very messy stock to trade, very, very choppy because the nature of the algos and people who are trading it and it's a nice stock so generally it's really really hard to trade but you know at the open you know you know was as you see the pre-market went up to 52 and then sold off in the pre-market which was should have been a sign for me that this stock is could be weak and then opened below the weave app sold off and then really uh, tried to pop up with volume the volume wasn't actually as high as the first one but i tried to uh, catch a one minute opening uh, one minute opening range break up but i got a stopped out on it and then i tried to catch a reversal on it which was i think immature and then i got a stop that it and then it sold off all the way up to uh this level i think uh, i think there's a level here uh, I think, yeah uh, I think the yeah I think the R4 level I think uh, then I started uh, building a position at R4 eventually we got this huge pop from up to, to 48 I added a little bit me uh, a little bit here but I got to stop out at the break even uh, so I got a really nice uh, eventually nice after two stop out I eventually got out of it where is my pen where is my epic pen here yeah I eventually got a stop out on it so you know that's uh, that's the first uh, loss and then the second loss and then this one was uh, the one that I actually got a uh, very decent profit on it um, so that was uh, that was uh, Twitter but the, my biggest uh, crazy trade was Vero that I did it twice both of them turned out to be really nice the first one you know Vero was really active yesterday this was a crazy in the last couple of days I think they have a oral treatment for COVID or something and you know in the last couple of days has been really active uh, opened up uh, choppy and then eventually squeezed through the weave app. I went long at 1540 thanks to one of the members that who mentioned that popped up 1623 sold added more and then I got a stopped out at the break even and so that was one trade and then uh, another one again another member mentioned that you know squeezed above the weave app you see heavy volume 1550 I jumped in very heavy on that popped up sold uh, just uh, before the halt, I got a stuck into the halt. After the halt, sold all the way up to 17.50. I added more a little bit for the next move up, but it really uh, didn't do anything. Dropped and I got a stop down on it. So as you see, ah, damn it, the queues are dropping. Uh, so yeah, so that was uh, that was the situation here at uh, on the Veru, and that was pretty good. What else I had? I had TQQ and I, oh Nvidia. I had also a one breakout on Nvidia as a five minute opening range break up. Um, so here is uh, NVIDIA, so I did the one minute opening range break up from 225 to 227, you know, I think 4,000 shares, which is a lot, and I made some, actually I didn't make a lot of money on NVIDIA here, uh, and now I got to stop that at the break even, so, and NVIDIA turned out to be just uh, selling off all day, like queues, the queues are also selling off really, really bad. Right now, as you see, I'm actually into TQQ, so, and it passed my break even point, so TQQ is, uh, yeah, so TQQ, um, I tried to catch this reversal on that. It's actually passing my break even point. I got to stop that on it. I didn't see that. I was doing the recap. Uh, yeah, queues turned out to be very weak today. Uh, you know, a big sell off of the queues. Um, and that was it. That was my trading day. It was really profitable for me. And I'm so happy on that. You know, just uh, closing the day. Uh, very, very strong. Uh, so, Brian, how was your trading day? Uh, it was pretty good. I mean, it wasn't, <clears throat> sounds like your day was a lot better than mine. Um, I did short, do a few shorts at the open. Uh, WFC was looking weak at the open, so I took a short on that. 
but it really didn't drop that much. And uh, because it's an NYSE stock, um, they tend to trade a little more erratically. So <clears throat> I made some money on that and a, and a, and a short on Billy as well. But uh, yeah, I got the I got that first trade on uh, VERU um, that we did, and uh, the second one I missed out on. Um, just was probably watching some other stuff. So that's what happens. But um, other than that, yeah, it was uh, wasn't a bad day. Any day you finish in the green is a good day. Yeah, excellent. Yeah. Uh, did you trade v yeah. uh, v Veru? Uh, v -E -R yeah, that was my the first the first time we traded it when it popped over uh, sixteen. That was um, what was that was back in around uh, nine forty in the morning. Yeah. That first pop. <clears throat> So that's when I did. I got my uh, my one trade on that one, which which was my best trade of the day, from a money perspective. And then I trimmed some of my uh, swing trades uh, as well. So uh, then in a bit of X and uh, some CCJ uh, uranium plays. So I was trimming some of those this morning. So overall, yeah, no, it was a, a good day. Yeah, excellent. So I did a doing QQQ and spy. So. They're all uh, uh, so Qs are the weakest one, uh, you know. Broke this level and now it's slowly grinding back up. So this level 342 obviously turned out to be a very important level. So it dropped and then now it's slowly grinding back up. IWM was f almost flat all day. Spy did a, uh, a rally at the open and just sold up, but it's generally choppy. They had a big day yesterday, and after these big days, usually you you get some sort of. Uh, I'm surprised the Qs drop one percent, but usually in the be in this kind of. Uh, uh, big days you get some sort of a consolidation all right guys uh so yeah, yeah make sure that to sign up to our community guys youtube guys if you want to uh, uh you know uh check out our community we have the seven days free trial if you want and uh, um yeah if you have any question let me know i also want to get the uh, uh, opinion of the community about the newsletters that i'm sending do you like the format uh, any changes that you like you give me some feedback about the newsletter and how frequent I should send it and uh, because I'm just wondering if it's the best practice on my newsletter and uh, you know do you want it to be more trading macroeconomics uh, lifestyle travel what what, what what's what you like and what you don't like if you can send me email about your uh, feedback I really appreciate that and do you want me to put the links of the news or you know don't make it too long or too short or whatever that is okay and uh, yeah, have a good uh, long weekend, everyone. Good Friday. Uh, uh, tomorrow is Good Friday. And then uh, Monday, which is the Easter, actually, the market is open. So, um, you know, don't uh, uh, miss the trading day on Monday if you're planning to. And uh, I hope everyone is spending time with family and friends. Mm -hmm. yeah. I'm still having this Have a good too, weekend. Um, actually, I might actually add a little bit more on that. I forgot to get out of it. And I might, I might get out of it. Uh, it's like uh, some get into that. Uh, we'll see how it goes. Cheers, guys. Cheers.